Mr. Engel suggested that the fact that there are two other examples of private schools that have paid DCs, or sorry, that do not pay DCs under very similar circumstances where they took over a public school, did renovations, no DCs paid. He's telling you that that's not relevant to the matter before you. And that just because they were speeding doesn't mean we get to speed. Well, again, I think that this is a matter of the application of the DC bylaw. It's being applied inconsistently. It's being applied one way in three instances. He goes other two examples and when my client first got the building permit. And then subsequently it's being applied differently. Respectfully, Mr. Engel cannot simply assume that there has been an error in the other cases and not an error in this one. That's an assumption in which he has no, there's no evidence to support. Thank you.